Hello everybody, back here again for our vlog a day, and today is Monday the 25th, and today was a gorgeous, beautiful day outside, um, aside from just being super hot and humid. It was sunny, it was beautiful when you're inside looking out, put it that way. So, went ahead, um, got up this morning way earlier than I should have, had just, I don't know, didn't sleep, my mind's been running on some really weird crap in the last, I don't know. 36 hours or so kind of thing, just a bunch of junk going on that unfortunately is out of my control, but it's still in my head and I can't seem to get rid of it. So got up, um, basically just kind of, I don't know, hung around, didn't really do a lot to start with, kind of got a few things done here and there. Went out, um, ended up getting the yard mode, which I realized it didn't rain all day. I thought it was going to rain this afternoon, so I wanted to get the yard mode as early as I could um, before the rain got here because it looked like it was going to storm. And I was out mowing, grass was all wet. Mowing with the actual riding mower, the push, like my real mower, does not mow that great in wet grass. It actually doesn't mow at all in wet grass, it seems like. But I had it out there. Um, I mowed with it not that long ago. So the knowing the gas mower, riding mower, could knock down taller grass, I didn't wasn't as concerned about it. But with the wet grass, it clumped up in the yard kind of looks all right. I should really get out there tomorrow if it don't rain with a um, yard um, sweeper thing where it puts it up in the basket and basically rake the yard up to kind of make it look a little better. But I like leaving the grass on the yard because it basically breaks down and gets fertilizer back to the yard. So don't know what's going to happen there. I may or may not use the sweeper. We'll see tomorrow how it looks. And part of me thinks who gives a damn. It's not the it's the real houses, empty lots and stuff I own that really look the worst. My house is still looking fine because I'm using the real mower on it um, pretty much exclusively. Uh, it's the only thing I use my front and backyard is that mower. Um, part of the one reason I can't get the riding mower into the backyard because the fence for the dog. So it's going to be take down a bunch of fence to get a mower in there. It's not worth it to put it back up and that kind of thing. So that would be a giant pain in the butt. Um, ended up, like I said, got a handful of things. Got back in here. After getting the yard mode, I had to go buy gas. Um, I just kept forgetting off and on. So I ended up making an extra trip out. Went and filled the car up, filled up both gas cans, came home, filled up the mower, and just kind of was a little bit disgusted with myself because I had three different opportunities when I was out um, that I just forgot to get gas each time. So went ahead, um, like I said, had to make that trip back out, which I hate making dumb little trips like that out for stuff. Seems like just a waste of fuel in the car. Go get it. I would have jumped on the bike and just um, ran over there on the pedal bike and filled it up, threw it in the basket, and hauled it home. But it was hot enough and that I'd already kind of forgot that I didn't um, have gas. I'd already kind of had that whole mindset. Already started the mower, got it out, hang else, and really wasn't feeling the ride in the bike over and back. So said to heck with that. Um, did end up um, getting the mower. Like I said, got the yard mowed out. Turned out looking all right. Um, got the mower put away. Got it all cleaned up and that. Just little things here and there. I also decided to take the um, cans and bottles back in for redemption. Had a handful of like beer bottles and stuff that was um, in the vehicle when I bought it. And I did been in my garage forever. And I just realized that a few days ago. Threw them in the thing. Um, took them all back in. I just hate having beer bottles around. I'm not a drinker at all. And it kind of bugs me there a little bit. But got that done. Went and bought some more dog food. I'm really big on the fact that the town I live in is a pretty small little crappy town. And everyone's one of the stores. Um, there's only one store in town that carries the dog food that I, I use. And a lot of times they will actually run out of dog food for a handful of days. So I end up to the point now where I've, if I'm out completely, I'll buy two bags. Um, that way I put one in my um, holder that I scoop out of all the time. And the other one just in a um, basically recycling um, giant brute tub trash can thing. But it's blue and it's for recycling. Uh, I put that one in there, and then as soon as I move the one bag into the house and fill up the um, dispenser that I have, I will then go ahead and go buy a second bag. So that way I always have a spare 40-pound um, bag or so with me. So And that lasts, I don't know, a few weeks, um, two to three weeks, depending on how, it would kind of how fast he's eaten. And sometimes a week and a half, depends on what's going on. But um, that will give me enough time that if they're out of stock, I can make a trip to Des Moines or somewhere else to buy some more of that food. So I'm kind of that little bit of the guy that when I pull my um, jar of peanut butter out of the pantry to put it in the cupboard, and I realize they grab the new one, and it's empty. I have a whole jar there. I still put it on my list, and I buy it the next time at the store. Same thing with mayonnaise, same thing with everything else stuff. If it's in the pantry and I take the last one out to put it in the fridge, I will go get another one and put it back in the pantry. 
part of that's from growing up um, out in the country somewhat and knowing the fact that giant snowstorms hit and you might not make it town for you know three to five days back in the day it was not uncommon and it also comes to the fact that living out in the country uh, nothing pisses you off more than having to drive you know 30 minutes or an hour round trip kind of stuff back in just to buy eggs so you can make you know french toast or something stupid you want so you definitely learn to prepare yourself for that where here in town it could be a 15 minute round trip by the time you get to the store pay for your stuff get back here but it's still a giant pain in the butt if you have it all pre order you basically pre-organized and ready to go much easier way in your life so that was the um, first main part of it then i um ended up Helping out, I went actually out for a run. Tried out the new um, Roughware um, brand dog cooling vest for Bruce. Um, not sure how great it worked. He hasn't been doing a lot of really hot running this year, so we ended up knocking out six miles um, at a decent little pace for trails and stuff. It's kind of a rough trail. A lot of off camera. I kept twisting my um, ankle. Not bad enough to leave permanent injury, but enough to basically throw you off balance and really slow you down quite a bit. So that right there was going on. Um, Got done with that, got back here to the house, had a friend of mine stop by. We ended up um, talking for a while. They ended up using my shower for one thing, which was funny because they got there and they're like, why don't you need the shower more? And I'm like, no, I've got to stay here at least 20, 30 minutes or else I'm going to jump in that shower, get back out, and I'll just sweat right back through my shower again. So went ahead and um, let them shower first and then basically jumped in the shower, got cleaned up in that. And then we just kind of hung around and shot the shit for a little while in that before they headed off to go do everything else they need to get done for the night. So I ended up spending quite a bit of time um, texting some people and stuff and just random people I was texting, some friends of mine, that kind of thing. And end up kind of, I don't know, somewhat connecting back up with the person that had kind of, I don't know, I'd fallen out with the real, um, just started out Saturday and had, there was a whole weird thing and I don't know where we're standing right now. So. I know the stress and all that and the thinking, overthinking of that and dealing with a bunch of other stuff in my life right now, trying to help somebody find divorce lawyers and everything else going on in my life that I just, I've gave myself a splitting freaking headache and I am super tired right now. It's a little after midnight and I am going to crash hard. So I'm actually thinking I might go ahead and take myself a um, herbal sleeping pill that I have here. I have taken one so far and it worked like a charm, so I might try it again. I don't know if you guys have any of you use this or not, but it's the one milligram. It's the smallest one they sell and it seemed to help me. So probably take one of those and I'm probably going to go ahead and cheat and take myself some ibuprofen also to try and get my head to quit hurting. Normally I would say to hell with it and just suffer it out and it will usually be gone in the morning, but I'm really feeling I need some more sleep than I have right now. So, oh yeah, I'm also pissed off and just just distracted and lost the whole fact that my damn Garmin 310 XT um, running um, training watch will not transfer the data from the damn watch to the computer. So I had to just basically post up my little um, run streak thing. Just I posted some pictures of the watch and for whatever damn reason will not transfer to my computer and it's driving me batshit crazy. So hopefully tomorrow I'll get that figured out, what's going on there, and I will talk to you then. Have yourself a safe and wonderful day. Thanks for watching.